about them is you can mention their past successes, even recent successes, but they're so you know, they're so grounded and they're they're only interested in what's happening in the training this week, which is freakish, you know, for me like if, if I was lucky enough to win a an All Ireland I would still be talking about it. These <laughs> fellas are, are just just want to go next game, next game and it's it, it's amazing that like you'd always have five or six lads like that, but when you have a group like that, they are they are a special group and it's just it's a privilege to be involved with them to be honest. And when you say special group then are you conscious of making the most of it while it lasts that you know this these are kind of unprecedented days in a way. Well, look, I suppose from a supporter's point of view, yes, we, they're getting to go to Crow Park for uh, and a lot more occasions than they have been over the previous 10 years. But um, yeah, but again, we're just, as I said, we're lucky to have them. There, there's a great squad there with Limerick. They are absolutely a driven bunch. They had reasonable success at underage and, and they just gelled it together maybe with that group, Nicky and them lads that, that were there and, and joined up. So. Um, they've really kicked on, and, and I suppose just watching them play now, it's it's you know it, it's it's nice to see a Limerick team. I think a lot of Limerick sports are really proud to be associated with them as well, which is a big help. So, um, and again, like just as I said, like for the crowd to see this group, you know, we've been starving for a year or two. The supporters coming up in trains and buses and cars, getting into Croker and. Now they have the chance to do it next next Sunday week, and uh, it should be great. As a, I guess a test half time against Tipperary, like you know, you must have been worried that things weren't you know were, were really gonna. Not we were, work. we were, we were. Um, I would say there was a, a concern more than a worry. A concern that we weren't really, I suppose, dominating in the areas that we should have been. Um, we made a few small changes at half time and just. It was such a hot day as well. Like, was it a day that, that Limerick just didn't hit the ground running and we're going to pay the price for it? Um, maybe you could say Tipperary were too experienced to lead Limerick back into it. They're a very experienced team, but we just hit that purple patch that every team would wish they could hit, you know, and made the most out of it. And just just go back to even Waterford there in the semi final. They really took the game for us early on, but they didn't show it in the scoreboard. Whereas Limerick dominated that third quarter against Tipperary and was it 111 to a point or something crazy like that, yeah. 110 or something like that, uh, which is, you know, it's a, it, was, it was a phenomenal turnaround and um, I suppose the experience the lads had then to close it out after was, was great to see as well. And does Kyle's goal, have you ever seen anything like that? You presume you didn't get one of those in your own No, career? never, never, yeah. never. Um, it, it, it was, you know, it was one that, please God, we'll, we'll still be talking about in 15, 20 years' time. The way it just opened up uh, for him, he, he's... He's such an athlete, and when he builds up that momentum, uh, it's great feet, and, and the way he cut in and finished was just great. It was the, it was the perfect timing for us, and I suppose if you look back in it, there was there was a nice little bit of movement inside there as well. I think Seamus Flanagan pulled out, um, Harding Maher out of the equation as well, which opened it up for him, you know, so um, he still had to finish it, and I think he did it with the hurry turned down as well, just to top it off, so uh, what a goal. It was just, just great.